Hi, this is Christopher from Fandev. Here is a quick tutorial on how to update an audio track on an existing DCP. The tools I'm going to use is QTCP for Premiere, which is a DCP export plugin for Premiere Pro, and QTCP Tools, which is a DCP remastering plugin for After Effects. I will show you two ways to perform these updates. Example 1. Here we are in Premiere Pro. Let's import all the new audio files. Then create a sequence. Make sure that the sequence settings is matching the DCP. In my case here, I have a 2048 by 858 flat sequence at 24 frames per second. The audio is a multi-channel with six tracks. Let's drag all the audio files into the sequence. Make sure that you place them in the correct order. I'm turning on the audio name so I can double check the order of the audio files. Left, right, center, LFE, left surround and right surround. Now export our updated audio tracks. Go to File, Export Media and then select QTCP. In the Audio tab I'm selecting 5.1. In the Video tab you don't need to touch anything. In the General tab I give the content title just a dummy name, Audio Only. Select the packaging format that matches the packaging format in your DCP. It's not allowed to have mismatched packaging formats. Lastly set the DCP folder name. Here it is the same as our content title. Press export to make a new DCP with the new audio tracks. The video track is just black and we are not going to use it. When the export is ready, jump over to After Effects. We are going to use QTCP tools to import and repackage the DCP. Right click on the product pane and select import QTCP tools import DCP. Select the audio only DCP and then import the DCP where we are going to update the audio track. Open the composition with the audio track that are going to be replaced and just delete it. From the audio only DCP that we just exported from Premiere, locate the audio track and drag it into the composition. Check that the duration is matching the video track. Now when a new audio track is in place, we are going to repackage the DCP and give it a new content title. Click on File, Export, QTCP Tools, Repackage. In the Repackage dialog, select the content title and click on the Title Helper tool. The only thing we are going to change here is to bump up the content type version, the date is automatically updated, and then click OK. Right click on the content title text and copy. We are going to use this as a folder name for the repackaged DCP. I'm selecting Move for the video file from the old DCP to the new one. Copy takes a little bit longer to perform and takes up more space on your drive. Then paste the content title as the DCP folder name. Press the select button. That's all, click export. This warning tells us that some files have been moved from the After Effects project. That is correct. The video file is moved to a new DCP. We are done with all the files in After Effects, so just delete them. Now we can import our updated DCP. This was the first way of updating the audio files in a DCP. Here comes the second way. In After Effects, import the DCP that needs to be updated. Open the composition and delete the audio track. Import the new updated sound mix. We are now going to add the audio file to the timeline. Select the audio files in the correct order and drop them into the timeline. Double check the order of the audio files. Left, right, center, LFE, left surround and right surround. Also check that the duration is matching the video track. Select the DCP folder and select File, Export, QTCP Tools, Repackage. In the Repackage dialog we are going to do the same as we did in the first example. Select the content title and click on the Title Helper tool. Bump up the content type version, click OK. Copy the content title text, select Move, then paste the content title as the DCP folder name, click Export. Now we have updated the DCP. Let's remove all the files in After Effects and import the new DCP. That was all for this tutorial. 
Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up below and hit subscribe and bell icon to be notified for the new tutorials.